Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play TRS and you may notice that this yard is suddenly full of stuff and also I'm lagging. Um, reason being is I got bored and decided to fill the yard with stuff. That's about it. I played around on here a bunch actually. This is kind of what I do in recreation. Also I added this because I realized that my designs were kind of dumb. Uh, originally it was still just a spur and then a turntable. And then I added a whole reversing loop, uh, just because I thought it was good. Um, but today, we're going to be terraining everything. Not terraining, we're going to be coloring. Coloring the world. And... Yeah. That's not good. What is this? I, I like this. I'm just kind of going to just jump into this because, you know, why not? This all here. Make it all. Make it all the same. All the same color. Cause I'm no. I'm not God. I can't design a world very well. If that's your theory of world creation. Um, but you know, whatever. I doubt people are gonna look over this whole map other than you guys, and you guys don't care, right? Right. Also, I have a question to pose to you guys while the video is still fresh. Um, and you're still paying attention. And that question is, what do you want me to do next? And I'm going to grab my map in just a second. And then I can tell you what is... What are the next things we can do? And none of them are going to be towns. They're going to be connections to towns. And I'm going to tell you the elevation of what we're going towards, as well as uh, any highlights of that, like if the track crosses over itself or if it goes along a river or crosses a river or something. Um, let me get my map. Oh, almost dropped a bunch of stuff. All right, my map. Now, uh, I will. The the gauge is also one of the things that I'm gonna mention. All right, wrong thing. So we have two standard gauge lines and one narrow gauge line that we can use for. Uh, for the next segment of work. Um, so keep that in mind. There is a single track line to Susquica, which is a hundred more feet up. It's in the mountains. It's uh, the narrow gauge line that goes off in that direction. The one that's over there and heads back up here. It actually comes along the side of this river farther upstream. Um, it's single track and Susquica. Let me find the map for that. I wish there was a more interesting way to do this. But right now it's just me looking behind me. I have a bunch of maps. Caps direction, scrag cap. Susquica should be in here. Yeah, there we go. Um, it's a... Uh, Squeaka is nothing important, actually. It's just a stop in the middle of nowhere. It doesn't even have a Y. Uh, the next alternative, if I go back to this, is a standard gauge line 
and it is down to Zamzib, the port town. It goes off that way. It actually spends most of its time going along the banks of this river. Uh, actually, I shouldn't say that. It crosses over the river and then goes along it when it almost is at sea level. And then it abandons the river for a little bit and then crosses it again. Or not crosses it, but yeah, it crosses it when you get to ocean level. I'm liking how this is coming out. Um, Alright, so that's that. We've got this river done. We've got the shoreline set. And I should put a little bit more hills back here. Um, so down to Zamzib. Zamzib is a port, so you can have a lot of trains heading that down that way. Uh, it would be important to note that there are no through trains. There are none that come from the main line. And, uh, like, there are no trains that come down here. Oh, jeez, lagging. Come down here, cross over and continue this way. There are few, if none, of those. Mo the most trains, too, is come in here, park here, and then have their cargo uh, sorted and unloaded by switching engines, and they pull into the roundhouse, and then an engine will come out and pick up the train that is assembled on this track here, and then they will leave. That's that. I need some road bed. Need a good road bed for mainline stuff. Oh crap, it begins again. Um, uh, hold on, let me find some. Here's pebbles, what can this be good for? How does this look? Huh, let me see. I mean, it is very repetitive, and the pattern is rather obvious, which is not good. But it does not look bad for for ground level stuff, not the mountainous, but like outside of the terminal and stuff, outside of the yard. This doesn't look half bad. Maybe even in the trees. Actually, yeah, that looks pretty good. Alright, there we go, there we go, there we go. Like this. Like so. Um. Alright, put it over this too. Because we're probably going to tree up this area. Off camera, I'm actually going to tree everything. But that's going to be a process that is going to take a long time. And the next time you will probably see that is when we uh, do the completion episode. And that is going to be completion between two separate stations. For example, this one and Susquika. We're going to run a train from here to Susquika. This is going to have a more industrial feel, but on this side of the tracks, we're going to get some stuff. Let me just grab something that looks like 
Oh, jeez, puppies. Let me grab something that looks like... Ballast. I had something really good a while ago, but I don't remember where that was. Was it this? No. It was this kind of gray mat. Is mine? No. My favorites are not saved. Darn puppies. Oh, she's home early. Um, alright, let's try this stuff. This actually doesn't look half bad. Maybe it's even smaller. Let's just mark up these tracks. Inside the yard limit, of course, we're going to have a different thing, because this is just for, like, mainline, high-speed, track. This this whole area back here is passenger staging. Because although this is a large station, it's certainly not the end of the line. It's the end of the branch to Sam's it, though. Ballast all this. I think it's going to be a little while before I figure out exactly what I want to use for the town and everything, so. And, uh, the thing about this is anything I don't finish on this episode, and it is going to be all be recorded in one cut. Uh, not, not a hundred percent because I'm a dick, but mostly because I don't feel like, uh, spending all that time. Because most of the time, it's just I come in here for like an hour at ten o'clock at night and work. And that's like every day of the week, and I don't, I'm not gonna record all that. Because it's just me sitting here listening to a podcast or something. I actually had a dream where I was recording while I was listening to a video in the background. And then it struck me, what the hell are you doing? God, that cursor really Fs up when, when you're doing it this way. Cursor looks really weird, it's jittering and stuff. I'm not sure if you guys can see that on the playback, but I can, and it's weird. Um, let's grab the that for this. This looks actually not bad for this kind of stuff. This is like the next level down. This is yard stuff. Here should actually have a different. But uh, over here, we're going to rock this. Rock this town. Rock it inside out. Um... God, that's obnoxious. Um, also, I think the the narrow gauge is either not going to have ballast at all, or it's going to have different ballast. I'm actually leaning towards not at all. Screw it. I'm doing all this like this. Of course, in this kind of yard area, it is going to have this ballast. Because, whoa! That was an accident. Because let me just paint this. What I leave is an engine over here, like the 36 inch jumper body or something. The tiny little dinky. It says something mouse on the side, I think. Uh, I don't know. I don't remember. Does it? Yes, it says the mouse. MLC. Um, I'm pretty sure that has something to do with MLG. MLC. Alright. 
right, all right, all right, all right. Let's move this all down. Boom. Crunch. Um. Although this one's not in color, like, people are gonna... No one's gonna notice. But this is just a black and white image there. I understand these pictures are rather large. Um... What is this? I think I should paint some of this around, like, back here. There we go. And the ground here should probably have this kind of thing. Just to match the buildings? I don't know. I want more kind of this. This actually fits in really well with that, and it's like, this is the grassy-ish kind of area that goes with this. This is definitely going to go over. Over, this is going to be the industrial section kind of base plate all your base okay, let me just I'm still using a really tiny brush. I know. It's for a reason. I'm not sure what that reason is, but there is a reason. Whoopsies. I think I painted this a little too, too much where I wasn't supposed to. Oh well. Yeah, this should go. Whoa! Let's just do this without moving. Without moving, then we will paint this entire area, and then we'll figure out what's to go. I love how we have one tree. Um, what's gonna go over around here? I've got this. Oh, wait, I didn't paint this. Oh, oh. That actually doesn't make it makes it look not half bad. Kind of fixes the repetitiveness a little bit. 
But what I wanted to do was grab this and then rotate it. There we go. All right, let's see what we can do here. Oh. All right, this is that. Okay, it looks terrible. Gonna make it a little bit more random than that. All right. Das lag. Paint all this in. Um, we need to get it. This is fine, actually. Should I turn this thing into a hedgerow? Like raise, raise it up? <laughs> Maybe that'd be that look kind of weird. I might try it, but not right now. Oh yes, I didn't go over the third option. Um, third option is the continuing... Oh no, there are four options. Um, there is A... This line up 100 feet to Susquica. There is B which is this line down probably not much it's gonna be a very short episode maybe everything done in one it's gonna be a very short segment maybe everything done in one episode but uh... this is the line is gonna go down to a portal um... And then there's C which is this down two hundred feet to where Zamzeb is gonna be the port town and there is D which is this uh, it stays pretty level, doesn't come in contact with anything, uh, and it's to a town called Archuro, which is a pulp mill. And here's the question of the day. What television show is Archuro from? Professor Maximilian Archuro. Hmm? Even I have trouble remembering it, but, you know, it was pretty cool. This actually looks pretty good. I'm going to keep this. I don't know why I just grabbed it, but I did, and it looks cool. No, 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 no. Grab that. Oh yes, and I do remember, I can't remember who said it, but somebody did note that, yes, I'm making this map primarily without mods, and the reason I'm doing that is to keep the stability of this uh, game for as long as I can, but I know as soon as I finish, as soon as I finish all the track work and stuff, which is the fun part, I'm going to start throwing in, um... What's the word? I'm going to start throwing in modded content. So, we're going to you're going to have the map itself and you can play I'll probably put that up for download somewhere and you can play around with it. 
however you want. But, uh, also I'm saying right here and now that if somebody were to download this map after I had completed it and decided to, uh, you know, make a video series on it and wanted to monetize those, I'd be completely and 100% fine with it. Because I'm not copywriting this map. Whatever. I don't give a damn. Um, right, let's take this and paint in this. This actually looks very similar to what we've got already there. So let's paint this in underneath the... Oh, damn it, I did it again. Underneath the water tower and this. Using a lot of different textures for this. Normally, if you guys remember Oceanica from the first episode or um, the Junction from a couple of episodes, um, you know that I what I normally do is I just go to the top of this list, I click this, and then I click this. And then I play around with it. But I don't feel like making everything alpine grass right now. There's no one I'm using. Is this lava? What is this? Red dirt. That is not red dirt. That's like hell. Red spot. Being very, very careful. Alright, let's just pop in around these trees. I think this goes very well with the tree scheme here. I'm probably going to use this. It's very non-repetitive. It just kind of blends. So I'm probably going to use this texture for a lot of things. Mo probably most of the forested area, and then I need to find a good texture for the plains area. Because half of this map are, well, except for the mountains, half of this map is forest, half of this map is plains. I'm talking about the entirety of the map. Um, hmm. How far out do I bring this? It's like a meadow. It's perfect looking. This is designed to texture just absolutely gigantic pieces of land. Which I guess makes sense. Um, how does it look with this though? It does, it looks, it's much warmer, I have to say. But it doesn't look quite as good with these, like, alpine splines and stuff. So what I'm tempted to do is just completely delete the splines and go over with, from scratch with these trees. Um... Oh, hold on. There, I'll leave that there. And I think I may do that. It's going to take me a while, but I do... Uh, it's vacation, so I have a lot of free time on my hands. I mean, it is Friday of my vacation. So, very soon, I will not have quite as much free time on my hands. But I'll still have a decent amount of... Uh, of just extra time to do whatever. Even though I never have any time at all. Almost the bottom of the list. Let's just scroll up. I want to find some sort of... Yeah, maybe I can use alpine grass for this. What is this? Hold on. Let me grab this. Actually, it looks good for like a, uh, you know, homely town kind of setting.
bigger brush. Just painting the ground. But it actually looks rather nice. I do like working with the warmer colors as opposed to, uh, you know, what I worked with in the industrial area over there. Just across the tracks. Although it makes sense what I did. Just back and forth, up and down, painting the ground. Why is this thing? starting to look like a map now. Hmm. I'm not sure what to do about this. I guess I'm just going to paint this in with this. Screw it. We've got this grove of alpine trees on top of this really nice looking grass. It does really fit these trees well, but I don't, I don't know, I'm, st I'm torn. If only I live stream stuff like this. I put more speed tens in, by the way. Um, damn, that's the wrong one. Gotta realize, I gotta check what I'm painting with before I start painting turn into a Looney Tunes thing, somebody swaps out my paint and I start painting with tar or something. Um. Let me just... Just like, you know, paint around this. Because the hill is going to have a different texture, I know that much. Let's see here.
kind of painting around here. I need to figure out what kind of colors I want to use for the the hills themselves. Because right now we have this. We have this coloring for what we're doing right here, but we don't have much else. Um, so what are we going to do about that? Dry grass tufts. No, that's no good. It's like desert. Oopsies. Let's just grab this. I feel like the narrow gauge is so dysfunctional. I'm kind of leaning towards what I want to do is I want to do the portal side first, the, the B, which goes that way. Um, and then I want to do this part. I want to do up to Squeaka. I just think it's going to be the most fun to do. And then it's going to be fun to run trains on it. It's going to be one of the quickest ones to do, and it's probably going to be one of the most fun. But they all have their advantages. Like this one's probably going to be quick, um, and it's good, but it's going to have a lot of terraining and not too much tracking at all. Not not anything too interesting. Uh, there may be a a what's the word a Whoa, passing siding or two. But uh, that's that's probably it for switching on the entire thing. I mean, these are only routes. They're not supposed to have switches. Uh, they don't usually have switches. But it's single track. So it's a little bit meh. If you guys like, um, you know, stuff. If you guys don't like single track. Um... feel like I'm going to put a wall here. I'm definitely going to put a wall here. No, that's not what I want. Fix that, fix that, fix that. Um, I think it is a nice touch. It is a nice touch. Alright. Back to this. That's that. If I end up not having time, because I know I think I've been recording for maybe 25 minutes, 20, 25 minutes. Um, if I end up not having enough time, I just want to have enough done that you guys will understand what it's going to look like when it is finished. Like, I'm sure you understand that the forests are going to come all the way out to here. They're, everything's going to be forested. Um, lower mountains, we're probably going to get some sort of... No, 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 not, the, not that kind of stuff. Probably going to get some more stuff like that. What, what is this? No, not that. It's a meadow. What is this? And who is this? 
this person that makes these, why, what is geese steam? Okay, what the hell, that's terrible. Um, that is the most repetitive thing I've ever seen. You know what, let's test it with the trees in the way. Let's get some trees in here. No, 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 no. Alright. That. That's there. And then I need to put another one of these here. That actually doesn't look half bad. How does the mountain look? Not bad either. See, everything needs to be in place for for stuff to start looking good. Um. So that's that. I, I've never really done mountains before, and I don't do them very well. Um. Let's just kind of slather some different colors on there and see how it looks. No, I did. No, no, scratch that. Scratch that. I liked how this looked. I like how this looks for like low mountain bits, and then maybe some rocky faces. So let's find some rocky faces to put this thing on. Uh, more like this. There we go. So, how does that look from way down here? Looks good. Looks good from way down here. Oh, I missed something. Forgot to do all this. Oh, lagging. You know what I want? I want to go back and get that uh, the engine I used for the zombie train, the one that's at Steamtown. Um, I do want to have that, just because I really like it. I'm probably not going to have it on the base map, but I do want to have it back. Don't ask me why I'm picturing the back of mountains. It's just where this texture goes. When I find a texture I like, I'm going to put it in all the applicable places. Like back here along this, this ridge line. Where the terrain went all goofy because I started screwing with stuff. Alright. Is there anything else any place else in here that I can put this, like right here. Um,
Okay, let's just paint up this again because why not? We no, I need I need some sort of ballast for this. So let's find. What about this? This actually doesn't look half bad for that. In fact, it almost looks like a volcanic rock of some kind, which is a little bit weird to use as ballast. Alright, so let's paint along this track right here. Whoa, turning, I forgot it's turning. And off the world. Alright, so that's that. Maybe we should have made the brush a little bit bigger. Maybe we should do that again with the brush on an on a larger size. No, 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 this. Only slightly larger. Grab this. Just so that when we go around that turn, it doesn't end up looking so weird, and we don't have spots that don't have the texture. I'd rather have spots with extra texture than spots with no texture at all. Because we all can see this this gray and this gray and whatever color that the grid. Nobody likes the grid. Unless it's a Tron grid, then everyone loves the grid. Alright, down here. Maybe some little pockets of this in these mountains, but I don't want to mess with these mountains too much. Oh. This cannot be this thin. Um, so, a little, a little bit of an aside to another game, I saw, I was watching, I like Assassin's Creed, I think the story is very cool, I think the backstory is alright, uh, no, it's better than alright, I'll be honest, I like it very much, but, uh, I don't play the games myself because I don't feel, A, I don't feel like I'd be any good at them, and B, I only really like the story, not the gameplay, so I don't feel like it would be worth the 60 bucks. On that note, what I do instead is I watch Let's Plays. I watched, uh, I watched the Ox cast, the Let's Plays that Hannah does, because she did Revelations and she did, uh, AC3, and she just finished AC3, and, uh, I didn't really like that ending. If if any of you guys have played have played that, I would like to hear your um, thoughts on it. But uh, number one, I got confused, and it may have been j because I was watching a video, not in the game, that I wasn't giving it my whole attention because I I don't know I didn't feel like my life depended on it. But I got confused. Number one, and number two, that's just humanity being destroyed and the main character being killed is not the greatest way to end a video game. Unless it's some sort of massive cliffhanger, like, uh, well, this isn't exactly that situation, but Halo 2 was a cliffhanger ending, and you had to wait until Halo 3. Which is, what the hell, no. I think that was a telemarketer, because I did not recognize that number. I'm just gonna shut my phone off now. Or shut the, uh, oh my god. I have, like, 30 gajillion Facebook messages in my inbox because of something that I'll talk about on the timetable um looks more like rusty something how does this look kinda repetitive it looks more like some sort of cloth No, that's repetitive. I want a non repetitive kind of mountainy. No, it's no good. That is extremely repetitive. 
That is awesome. That is awesome. That is awesome. Um, although I think we can use this pebbly bit. This pebbly stuff. Let me go over here. Where this has this bit right here, I think we could I think we could and should use this kind of pebbly. I'm gonna get some more pebbly and mix it in. So that we have multiple different kinds of pebbly. But the way the mountains are over here, because I accidentally used a brush that's too small. Um I think it's good that we have these kinds of rocks. By the way, I'm going to do this. Let's find some more pebbly. What about this? I'm definitely going to have some night scenarios. Good morning, world. No, this is... No, it's not pebbly. That's just... Day and night goes extremely fast. What the? That's a little bit weird. What the hell is going on with this building? Okay, you know what? Whatever. Just gonna ignore that for now. I just need to power through this because if I don't, it's never gonna get done. And I know I need to finish this before I go into my next set of things, or else. Just, or else, it's never gonna get done. I can't uh, start working on something else and leave this here because then I'll never come back to it. So let's just power through this, shall we? What is this? No, that's very repetitive. What about this? That's not, but it's not what I want. This is, looks strange. Hey, no glitches. Awesome. These are lit up windows. It's very cool. Oh, is this building? Um, not that one. You know, whatever. Whatever. Alright, I need something. I need to paint some stuff. I think I need to, I just need to find a base color I want the mountains to be. Like this. How does that look? That's not actually that bad. I think I'll come back to that. Um, what about this? That's actually kind of repetitive, but... You know what, let's see. Boom. 
very repetitive. Don't like it. Oh, it fills it all on a... It fills it all with default settings. That's not good. Okay, let's grab this then. Boom. Now, the whole place looks like it's made out of obsidian. But I think the key is going to combine, going to be combining this and that to make the mountain sides. So that means I have to do it all manually. Which means I'm going to end up doing as little work as possible. Doesn't look nearly as bad as I thought it was going to. Iron ore. That's what this stuff is? Iron ore? That looks nothing like iron ore. Um. Navajo. Oz gravel. The wonderful wizard of Oz. So maybe I use this one too. Maybe I don't. Maybe I stopped talking to myself. Maybe not today. Maybe I'm kind of hungry. Maybe what I need to do is this. Where is it? Where's the copy paste? Select area, paste mode. What if I, oh. Forgot about this tool. This is how you make your own damn textures. With blackjack and hookers. God damn it, Futurama. Why'd you have to get cancelled again? Are they cancelled again? I don't even have to know. I don't pay attention anymore. I don't watch TV very much. And people look at me like I'm crazy, but I am. So, you know what? Screw them. <laughs> this is how you do it <laughs> quickly and easily. So you make a mountain range and then paint it. Just like a boss. Okay, boom. 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 I forgot what, what, what the question of the day was. I think I said one, but I don't remember what it was. From back here, you can't even tell that I copy and paste it. Only the people watching the video will know. I mean, don't tell anyone.
It's a secret to everybody. Alright, there we go. Boom. 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 Alright, so now that I know what to do, I'm probably just going to do this for the entire map. Uh, even back here. The fastest day night cycle I've ever seen. That was a glitch. Yep, still there. What can I do about that? <laughs> Put a wall in front of the building. I like the building though, it looks cool. Except at nighttime, it looks like. I have no idea what it looks like. Alright, so as I finish this mountain range, I will go over the finer points of my question to you guys, which is what do we do next? Probably will have different textures for these, but I know back here is all going to be the same as uh, what we've already seen. And then this guy's going to go into an area with more rolling hills. So when if we build not if when we build that line, it'll be different. And for the small areas, I will actually have to use the regular old brush tool. Boo hoo. Um. Alright, so seeing as we've been recording for a while, I'll bid you guys farewell after I go over this one more time. So, option A. And please don't write A, B, C, or D. A actually, go ahead. Option A. This route to Susquica. Up 100 feet, narrow gauge, single track. Uh, Susquica is nothing important. It's a small town... Uh, no industries. Not even a Y to turn trains around. This is to Portal. This is option B. Uh, there's nothing much. It just goes down and turns... Um, what is that? Turns to the east a little bit. Option C. This. This is probably the most complicated one. Um, it's double track, standard gauge. It goes down 200 feet to Zamzip. It's a, a long route. It's relatively long. It's one of the longest, one of the longest single stretches. It goes down west until it hits the coast, and then, or almost until it hits the coast, and it turns to the north uh, and runs along the coast and runs along the river. It crosses over the river uh, twice. Once up here, and then once down at the water, water side and goes to Zamzib, the port town. 
Uh, so there's going to be a lot of trains heading down there, a lot of freight. Um, and then this is option D, which is a relatively straight stretch. It zigzags very slowly, very slightly. Um, it stays at just about the same level, and it goes to a town called Arturo, uh, which is a pulp mill. It is double tracked the whole way, and that's that. Also, if you guys did not notice, I did all of the signal, not signal, I did all the switch levers. I'll probably do the signals at some point, too. But I did every single switch lever in this entire yard, and I populated the roundhouse a little bit. So we have two steam engines and a, a three steam engines and a plethora of diesels. And we still have our shunter, which I parked over here in the shunter slot. So, remember, answer the comments A, B, C, D. And the next time we see this place is when I start out the next episode responding to A, B, C, or D. And at that point, all of this texturing will probably be done. And I'll show you guys just for a minute, though. Train man out. Where's that button?